Hey everyone, it's Kiki here, and this is me doing artwork for a friend at work. She had seen me showing one of my other co-workers some of the projects I had been working on from my phone, and she's like, ooh, could you make me something? I'll pay for a print, please, please. So I'm like, well, I guess... So, but she had specifically asked for something colorful. She didn't say anything other than she's just like, I want something colorful. I'm like, well, do you want something pretty? She's just, make it colorful. So I figured I'll do flowers and a fairy. It's pretty colorful. Um, so I had told her, find me a butterfly you like and find me at least one flower you like. She's like, okay. And she kept forgetting and she kept forgetting and she kept forgetting and she kept forgetting. So I'm like, I'll just find a butterfly and a flower. So I went on Google Images and I found a butterfly that was colorful. I found some other butterflies that were cool, but they were like black and red and not colorful. Um, I'm going to use those in a different picture. And then I found these two flowers. Um, I don't know what kind of flowers they are. Like I said, I just found them on Google. Um, I tried to do a backtrace thing for it and I couldn't. It, it wouldn't. But I picked them because they looked glowy. Like glowy and magical and stuff so that's why I picked them um yes I did trace it get over it deal with it ah. um I really had no idea what I was gonna do with the fairy like at all so it was like really on the spot I'm really happy with her feet though I normally have trouble with her feet and I just like I drew them and it was awesome um she was originally just going to be holding a bunch of petals she collected, but it sort of ended up turning into like a little version of one of the like teacup looking flowers. I don't know what they're actually called. Um, so I just, I just turned it into a small flower that she's taking somewhere else. But the idea was kind of like she takes, she takes care of the flowers and stuff like that. But I wanted her, while her wings fit in with the color theme of the flowers I kind of wanted her to stand out that's why I gave her the more golden skin and the the brown and green clothing um but I'm really happy with this it took me a little longer than I was expecting to but at the same time I'm not surprised with how long it took just because of the flowers I don't draw flowers very often and the last few times I have done flowers I've actually done them in pencil not on the computer um, but yeah, normally when I do fairies, I give them like long flowy fairy hair, but my friend at work has short hair and she thinks it's really cool when, uh, girls cut their hair short and it's spiky and stuff. So I'm like, I'll do that. Um, so I actually took the design from another fairy that I had actually drawn for my mom a long time ago. It was actually a guy fairy, but I took that hairstyle and just put it on her because I liked how that one looked. Um, I tried doing different things with the petals and I would just, because like these flowers in particular, these big cylinder, not cylinder, flat circle-y ones, had this cool like streaky look to them and I kind of wanted to get that and so I was trying different ways to do it and it just it wasn't working so but I finally figured out a way to sort of kind of do it and then gave it this cool glowy look it turned out a lot better than I was hoping for um one of my ideas was actually to make the flowers different colors that didn't happen one, just because I thought it would be too chaotic if I had purples and blues and yellows and reds and it would just be too much. So I kind of kept it to the same purple-blue color scheme except for her, essentially. And I, I knew from the start that I was going to have to add filler in to the background. I was gonna have to do leaves and grass or bushes or something so these flowers weren't just magically floating in the air. I mean, I guess they could have been magically floating in the air. I mean, it's got a fairy in it. But I wanted them to be connected 
to something. I wanted there to be more than just this flat background. So I did go in and in a very roundabout backwards way add in a bunch of leaves and stems and such to the picture. And I say roundabout, you'll see it here in a little bit, but I say roundabout because I actually put the color in, like I blocked out where all the leaves were via color spots, essentially, and then I put a line work around that instead of making the line work and then filling it in. So there was a lot of touch-up that I went through in uh, doing that. I did end up cutting most of it out simply because it took an hour of just me touching up these tiny little spots in the leaves and I figured that would be kind of boring to watch. But yeah, I'm talking a lot really fast. Um, ooh, my throat hurts. But yeah, no, I really like how the flowers out. I like the contrast between the two different flowers and how I did them. I did try to do them both a little differently. I did make this one. I wanted it to be like slightly brighter, but it ended up being way too much bright. So I had to figure out how to tone it back without losing all the work that I put into it. I sort of succeeded. But I had a lot of fun with this, and I really hope that uh, she likes it. She's planning to hope it, hang it in her bedroom, so I really hope she likes it. Um, I showed her a little sneak peek of the flowers. It wasn't the greatest sneak peek, considering I used a phone taking a picture of my screen. But, yeah. It was fun. It was different. I wanted to show a little bit more life. I'm not sure if she's landing on the flower or if she's coming off of it. I don't know. You decide. But, yeah. I think, I think it's got a little bit more life than some of my other pictures. I mean, my Monster Mash in the last video, he, he was... He was, he was active, and there was, there was a bit of life to that one. But making a picture look alive, making the movement show and translate is something I've always had a lot of trouble with, so I'm trying to get better at that. I feel like I have been getting better with it, but there are still moments where there's just this static feel to it. Arr. But I'm hoping with the uh, next few pieces that I have planned that I'll manage to get a little bit better and get that movement a little bit more s solid. That doesn't even make movement more solid. Movement is flowy. Well, I'm sure you get what I mean. Alright, and that's just about the end of this, and if everything goes as planned and nothing else odd happens, as 
the videos I've made have gotten rather out of order recently. Um, as long as nothing else happens, the next two videos will be kind of similar to each other as they'll both be comic pages. Um, but one of them is gonna be a little bit different. So you can look forward to that. I'll see you next week.